Hello everyone, my name is S Comic Maker and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something super fun. If you remember in my RNG video, I asked you guys to follow along the challenge and send me the characters that you ended up making from the random number generator websites. So I thought that it would be fun to draw some of your new original character babies. You're a precious little random number generator baby, aren't you? Okay, I, I promise I, I will never do that again. If you didn't see that video, essentially I created four new characters created completely random. I'm talking name, age, personality, body type, outfit, skin color, eye color, the whole thing. It was a fantastic challenge that is super spontaneous and even gave me a couple characters that I will definitely end up using again in future projects. In fact, if you want to see the RNG characters I got or want to try the challenge for yourself, I'll leave an eye card here. But anywho, today I'll be drawing your characters on the new Gaumon PD 1320. If you want to see my review on this tablet and want to know how it performs or how to set it up, skip to this timestamp. But let's see some of the cool characters that you guys ended up making. For this video, I'll be providing the names of the artists that created the work as well as information they sent me for the characters on screen. I, of course, wasn't able to draw everyone's characters that were submitted, but I did my best to do as many as I could and I ended up drawing nine of your characters. And I... Gotta tell you guys, I was so impressed with you. You all did so awesome, and I loved seeing how different every single character ended up being. And it was also neat seeing all your different styles with these characters. In true RNG fashion, all of the drawings that I picked today were randomly chosen, so I hope that I did them all justice. So to start with, this character named Maddie was sent to me by Holly Sketches on Instagram. I loved how her character came out and all the different expressions that she was drawn in, and in fact, a lot of you ended up drawing multiple expressions for your characters and it was so cool to see. I don't know, it was just cool to see like these characters just be birthed and come to life. I don't know why I said birth, that sounds super strange. But anyway, this character was super pretty and a lot of fun to draw and I just... Oh, all of your drawings were so great, Holly. Thank you for your submission. Next up is Koi Cat's character, Blaze. This character was also super, super fun to draw. I like that Koi Cat actually did a little bit extra and used a fantasy race generator too to add even more to their character by making them a sentient unicorn from a different dimension. That was just super cool and I love that you embraced the challenge. Although I... <laughs> We'll admit that I goofed on drawing them. I read everyone's profiles when I received them, but after picking them randomly, I forgot to go back and read that the character is actually a he. So consider this baby like a gender bent version of Blaze. Sorry about that, Koi Cat. That was my bad, but I still had a lot of fun drawing them. And I also think that the colors that you ended up getting worked out really, really well for this character. Then we have Chrissy Doodle's character, Andrew. I love how Chrissy drew him. I think that she captured a great blend of Andrew being a nice looking guy but is also possibly full of himself and sometimes up to no good. Because according to his bio, he likes vandalizing bus stops? What? Why? It was so random and I thought that it was hilarious. I think my drawing ended up making him look a little bit more like a gentleman which seems to be a bit off from the truth but regardless as all of them. He was a lot of fun to draw and I love all the illustrations that Chrissy made for him. I mean, look at those shoes. Ooh, girl, they be looking so nice. <laughs> anyway, well done. This next one by Ace, the D&D &D Phoenix, was actually a bit of a challenge for me. Their character, Myra, is apparently a monk and a personal trainer and boy, does she look strong. I wanted to make sure I captured her muscles well under her jacket and I hope that I did all right. But I have to say that based on the drawing that Ace provided, Provided. I love the fact that they went ahead and added all of their D&D stats on this character as well. I think it would have been fun to see what they could do with Myra in an actual campaign. Also, based on all the silly buff stuff that we've been drawing in my live streams recently, that maybe I've been getting a little bit better at drawing muscles, and I hope that I was able to give Myra justice and draw them okay. But regardless of how any of them came out, I think that it was still really interesting to see how all of the different styles of these characters were drawn. Like, I think it was cool to see see them drawn in your styles and then in my styles as well. Alrighty, so next up we have art by Callie's character Molly and 
I hope that this name was randomly generated because it is amazing. The name of this character is Molly Polly Gobble and ooh, that is just too good. Anyway, I realized after that I completely forgot her beauty mark, but other than that, she was super simple and a fun character to draw. You might have seen from the original art that it says that her friend was suffocated and the murderer was never brought to justice. Well, if you do try this challenge, keep in mind that for some reason when making character profiles, the generator often gives the characters a backstory where like a friend or a family member is murdered or dies tragically. It's, um very interesting. Anyway, I think Callie's character Molly came out super cute and it was awesome to see. I also love that they added the flag in there. Awesome job. Another RNG character that ended up with a super cool name was this one by Artist Skull. Their character's name is May Elizabeth Blast. That just might be one of the most badass last names ever. Anyway, I thought that he did an amazing job on this one. Based on some of the information about her, which is that she's an entertainer and can come off as rude, but is mostly friendly, I think that he captured her in this drawing perfectly. I feel like I can see the sass just oozing off of her. I ended up drawing her maybe a bit too sweet looking, but I feel like Mei is definitely the kind of person you can laugh with and have a good time with. Artist Skull participates a lot in my Wednesday prompt live streams and always does an incredible job finding creative ways to draw the prompts that we try out. And I love the way that he drew Mei. She looks amazing. Eh? Get it? Uh, okay, I should probably stop now. For this last batch of three, we have Kara Murphy, drawn by Ayla, or Isla, sorry if I say anyone's username wrong, by the way. Anyway, I thought her style was super cute, and I loved how well she took the outfit from the clothes generator and fit it perfectly with the color palette. Kara looked like a fun person, so I kind of gave her a playful pose. I really enjoyed drawing her outfit, too, with the poofy poofy sleeves. But then again, I really enjoy drawing girls in general. I tried to look up poses of people in business outfits, and they all looked super super stiff, so even though it mentioned in her profile that she could be anxious sometimes, I thought that the pose would be a bit more fun than drawing her looking stiff as well. This was definitely one of my favorite drawings in the batch. Then we have Sandy made by Sar Stars, and I thought that this one was a really, really good design. The fact that they have a severe phobia of balloons was super interesting, and I love the expression that Sarah drew of them looking at the balloon. And then I also like the way that she used the colors to represent Sandy love of listening to music. But I have to say that I'm so glad I ended up drawing this one because look, look at it. A monkey backpack. How can you not love monkey backpack? That and the fact that they were wearing this like nice cool looking outfit with the bow tie just pairs so well with that dang old monkey. It was just so good. I think that she captured the description perfectly. Having some dark circles under the eyes helped sell the fact that Sandy can be a bit grumpy too, and I feel like this is a person I would actually see walking around, and I love him. So, so cool. Last but not least, we have Alfie, created by the lovely Sophia Punches with Words, a very interesting Discord name. <laughs> Based on the fact that Alfie's profile said that he likes planking, eating out, and going to the movies, he seemed like a fun guy, so I drew him laughing and having a good time. I love the style and the clothes that got generated for this character because he just seems like a really chill guy. Sophia's style looks awesome here and I really love how she drew the hair for the character. When I was trying to draw Alfie in my style, the hair was definitely the most fun part. And then the pose that Sophia drew him in was really cool, so I loved it. Well done, guys. Dang, you all just like blew me away with all of your submissions. I'll be showing the rest of the art that you guys sent in at the end of the video, but first I'd love to talk to you guys about my experience with the Gaumont PD 1320. Reviewing tablets and art supplies like this makes it so that when you guys ask me what kinds of things I would recommend, then I can give my actual true opinion because I've used it before. To preface this part, Gaumon is not paying me for this tablet, but they did send it to me for free for me to give my full honest review and thoughts. I used the tablet for all of the drawings in this video, as well as two live streams and a couple doodles by the time that I give this review, so it was a comfortable amount of time for me to make my thoughts and opinions on this tablet. 
tablets. But anyway, this tablet is a bit different than other Galmon tablets that I've tried in the past, and it's also their newest model. This tablet is 13.3 inches and comes with all the things that you come to expect with a tablet. So for this one, you get a tablet slash screen cover that you adhere to the back of the tablet, a microfiber cloth, fancy drawing hand pants for gliding across the screen, and of course the instructions. You then also get all the plugs to make the magic happen, and you get your drawing pen and a pen stand. The stand also comes with some extra replacement nubs in case you grind those suckers down or if you end up losing one. I messed up a bit with peeling off the screen protector by first trying to pull off the sticker like a dummy dum dum, and then when I actually pulled it off, I realized that there was a whole separate layer that was supposed to stay on the screen. This is supposed to give you an extra layer of protection and it's supposed to stop the glare, and I tried to put it back on, but I couldn't do it without a lot of air bubbles, so this wasn't Gaumon's fault at all. I should have read the directions clearer, but like I said, this screen protector was supposed to help with glare, so I just didn't have that part anymore. It didn't hinder the performance at all without the screen protector, and in fact, the screen felt more slick, and since the tablet is just going to be on my desk, it really didn't make much of a difference, but if you're traveling with it and you make the same mistake that I did, the glare could be a problem, but it's not that big of a deal. Long story short, just don't be a dum-dum like me and take off the dang screen protector. <laughs> anyway, the stand for this was really interesting. After adhering it to the back of the tablet, you can kind of fold it into a triangle and it sits pretty flat on the desk. You can then, of course, fold it over to protect the screen if you choose to travel with it, which I thought that was really interesting. But as far as functional stands go, it wasn't really that great since you only have the option to have it tilted just very slightly up. I ended up using my own stand for drawing, which you'll see in a bit. Then, of course, you just plug everything in. One goes into the power, one into the computer, and then you press and hold the little button at the top and it turns on no problem. All the Gaumon tablets that I've tried so far seem to have this pretty standard. The size for this was actually pretty perfect for me at that 13.3 inches that I mentioned. It doesn't take up too much space and the screen was so clear and crisp which made for a great drawing experience. And then here you'll see some footage of me drawing some of the art from today's video on the tablet. Sketching feels really great and I think so far the clarity of the screen is the best of all the tablets from Gaumon that I've tried. The colors are bright and everything just looks super crisp and clear. I did have some issues with the corners of the tablet being just slightly off from the cursor, but it didn't mess me up when I tried to use anything at all. But you might have to recalibrate or undo the calibration settings to see what works best for you. Then, based on the video that's on their Amazon page, it looks like you're actually able to hook this up to a phone or a laptop, making this a tablet that you can easily take with you on the go or on trips and stuff like that. Although, I'll say make sure that the plugs are compatible with your laptop or phone because you might have to buy a completely separate adapter to be able to plug that in and set it up correctly. But for using it with my PC, it worked out with no issues. I just went onto their website, downloaded the appropriate driver for the tablet, and it worked immediately. The full setup time for all these tablets are usually less than 30 minutes from taking it out of the box to being able to start drawing with it. Also important to note that there aren't any express keys on it like other Gaumon tablets that I've tried, so you can't set up like a control Z button or anything like that. But if you're already used to hotkeys on your keyboard, then this will basically be exactly the same. And then also interestingly enough, there's also a headphone jack in it, which really makes me believe that this tablet was designed for artists that either travel a lot or are university students on the go. And that's actually who I would recommend this one for. Beginner artists that are looking for a quality and affordable tablet, as well as university students who are looking for a sturdy tablet that can plug into their laptops or that they can bring with them. I think that it's a great tablet and I'll continue to use it for the time being as I really like the size of it a lot, not being too big or too small. And right now, until the 31st of May 2021, Gammon has a discount when purchasing the tablet where you can get $50 off. So if you're interested, I'll leave all the information you need in the description. And thank you Gammon for sending me this tablet and letting me try it out. Well, that was a lot of fun. What do you guys think of everyone's submissions for this video? I think that they all did an incredible job and thank you so much to everyone for sending in your art. I loved seeing them all. If you still haven't tried this challenge out yet and you would like to, make sure to check out that iCard again or I'll leave a link for it in the description and I would of course still love to see what you guys make so you can keep using the hashtag RNGSComic or at me on Twitter or Instagram so I can see what you made. I want to keep 
doing more community event submissions like this. They don't do so great in the YouTube algorithm, but I really love drawing together with you all. So what are some of the things that you would want to be part of in the future? If there are any art challenges or art submission ideas that you guys have, leave a comment and let me know and I will absolutely consider it for a future video. As always, videos like this are possible because of my amazing banana members and people like you who like, comment on, and share my videos. I appreciate you all stopping by and I hope that we can draw together again soon. Bye guys.